Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to take a look at replacing the the knob on the Monoprice Select Mini. Now, one of the things I met up with Chuck Hellebuck at uh, Maker's Fair about a month or so ago, and we were talking about this uh, printer. He's got a couple of them, too. And one of the first things he said is, you know, replace this knob. Well, I, I tried living with it because I like the idea of it being stock, but I tell you what, this is such a pain. But one of the things I did come across on Thingiverse is this knob, actually, and I thought it very interesting because what this does is this not only is a replacement knob, but it allows you to keep, to re actually reuse this knob. So what happens is this knob goes on the top of this, and then this knob actually goes in here, and then what happens now uh, is is then you know this acts as a taller or raises this up. And I thought that was kind of cool. And the other piece is because this actually lights up. If I turn on the, the printer, um, you can see this glows a blue. So one of the things I did is printed this in a clear natural PLA. And uh, the idea when it goes in there, the LEDs will also make this glow. So um, the challenge is I have no idea how to get this apart to change this out. So I figured I'd do a video. So what I'm going to do is kind of mess around and try to figure this out. Um, the one thing I can tell you is the front panel bolts are held on with nuts in the back. So if you take these out, what's going to happen is the nuts are going to fall fall off. So I think what's, what's going to have to happen is we're going to have to go in through the side panel. So I'm going to go ahead and um, kind of experiment a little bit, and then we'll come back take a look at what I found, and I'll share it with you guys. Okay, so what I did is I removed this top side up here where the... Um, goes on sort of like this and sorry I'm have to do some hand holding to kind of get you in here a little bit so um, so I removed this and took a look inside there and what I saw is this this panel you know trying to move you around here is held in this front panel is held in by these four screws so you don't want to take these out the front panel torques because what's going to happen is these are just going to fall in so what I've done is I've removed the the bottom of the panel and you can see the controller board and man that is a tiny controller board uh, so pretty interesting um, design let's see if I can't get you up here uh, so you can kind of see it but now what we see here is it looks like this control board is held on by uh, four screws so what I'm gonna do is um, go ahead and see what happens when I remove those four screws and see if I can just get the knob to pop off and see how that works. So okay, as mentioned, I removed these four screws and we can see the panel here. Um, now you have to be careful. This, the, as you see, it's a, it's a pressure fit onto here. Here's the knob itself and uh, like most pots or, or other um, rotary devices it's got the you know um, curled edge and you know it's pressure fit so you have to be kind of careful taking this apart you can damage this um, unit and I don't know what you would do if you did that because again it's it's I'm not sure exactly what it is it is some kind of rotary device I'm, I'm guessing so I, I just kind of gently worked it back and forth until it, it separated from this I, I imagine you could pry it up from the outside um, but I don't know how you could do that without really scraping up this uh, knob now the idea is is this somehow is supposed to go on the top of this or something um, I'm trying to kind of figure out how this goes together because this is this I think is supposed to go on to here somehow um, so I think what, what's going to have to happen, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat this up a little bit and put it on here so it takes the form of this, uh, this knob, uh, or, or this shaft, and it'll slide on easier because I think what's going to have to happen is I'm going to have to reattach this and then, uh, slide this on. So let's go ahead and do that and see what happens. Okay, so I've remounted this, um, on here. And then what I've done is I've taken the uh, piece, the PLA piece, as I mentioned, I heated, heated it up with a heat gun a little bit, pressed the top on, 
put a little touch of glue on it and then also heated up the back side here and matched it to the um, shaft of the control. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reassemble this the, the unit and then again press it on. Well actually what I might do, I'm going to take that back, I'm going to change it midstream. I'm going to, while I have the bottom off, I'm going to actually press it on while I can actually hold the bottom. Now the one thing is I don't know how static sensitive all this is so you, you might want to be grounded with a ground strap if you're going to touch this. Also make sure that the power is off. Um, uh, it, while it does have a power brick it's still just good to have the power off and you know so this thing's not heated or charged. So I'm going to go ahead and do that then we're going to come back and uh, take a look at things. Okay, so we're back. We have the unit all put back together. We've actually got it turned on, and this really looks great. I really, really like this. Um, if you didn't know better, um, you wouldn't know this was a modification because you have the stock knob on top. You have it extended out. It's easy to turn. It turns very nicely. The effect of the LED lighting up the clear PLA is really, really cool. Um, you know, the, the push button works very nice. Uh, again, it should be designed like this, you know, from the get-go. So I'm really excited about this mod. I'll put the link, Thingiverse link in the bottom. Now, again, this was a little bit of a tight fit, and, and what I did is I took the heat gun, heated it up just a little bit, pushed it onto the shaft on one end, pushed this uh, knob into the top so it form-fitted very nicely, put a little dab of glue on the underside of the knob to make sure it held in place firmly. It kind of snapped in, but the glue will definitely hold it in place. Uh, and I didn't put a lot, so if I wanted to pop this off and return it to original, I could if I decided this didn't work. But i got to tell you guys, this, this is really, really cool. So worthwhile modification to make. So anyways, um, you know, you could probably try prying this up. I wouldn't suggest it because it's going to pry on that. Again, I would suggest taking it apart and, and gently kind of prying down, you know, working that board back and forth and popping it out that way. Again, all this is at your own risk, so I'm just kind of showing you how I did it. Um, if you have a better way to do it, let me know in the comments below so we can share it with the other viewers. But I think this worked out okay. Um, and kind of like the safest bet because I really didn't know how this went together. So, anyways, if you found this interesting, hey, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. More of this coming. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.